Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldozer of Faith, Living Life in the Spirit. We're on the Planting Seeds of Light Tour here in the USA. And what a blessing to be in Tennessee. It's awesome. It's freezing cold out there, but we are inside, keep nice and warm. I'm with Jorgen and Marjorie. How are you guys? We're fine. Well, thanks for coming just to share a little bit about being in the Hebraic roots of the faith. Jorgen, let's start with yourself. Why would you want to follow Yeshua through Torah? Why would you do such a thing? Well, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, God spoke to me several years ago. Down, we were serving at a church in Florida. Uh -huh. And Pastor Scott had come up here. We were saving on, serving on the same church staff in Florida. And Pastor Scott had come up here to start a church. Right. And well, after he left, uh, I just felt God telling me he wanted me to st study the feasts. Uh -huh. So I started digging into the feasts and uh, learning what I could. And at that time, I was uh, serving uh, two nursing homes. I do two nursing home services each week in Florida. And I started telling the people at the nursing homes about the feasts. Right. And I... They were the only ones I could talk to. They, uh, <laughs> I a knew captivated of, audience. Yeah, I, I <laughs> knew of nobody else. Wow. That was that had knew anything about the feast. I didn't wow. dare say, say anything to my pastor because I know what his reaction would be, and I didn't even want to tell Pastor Scott about it because I didn't know what his reaction would be. Right. So I just after I was released from Florida to come up here to Greenville, I just put my books on the shelf. And thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I've got them here. And, uh, and then after being up here for a couple of years, God spoke to Pastor Scott. And we started telling us about the feasts. Wow. And wow, I got so excited. You're like, I've already uh, seen this. This is awesome. I've been awesome. there. I know what this is about, <laughs> Pastor. I, I'm going to go get, I went, I run into the house and got my book. I had a big notebook on the feasts. I got that book off the shelf and I give it here. I, I don't know if this will help you any, but I want you to have it. Wow. And so it's it's been an exciting walk ever wow. since then. And uh, I, I don't want to take away, I know what my wife is going to yeah. say. So I'm going to turn this over to her and yeah. let her share a little and bit. And Marjorie, did you, uh, did, were you in this experience together of identifying the feast at the same time together? Or what was happening with you? Actually, when he started with the feast, I thought, eh, it's kind of <laughs> strange. Because um, even though, uh, actually, we were very fortunate, but we were never in a church that taught that Israel and the church were separate. Okay. Uh, the, the two different things. Uh, and we always have had a heart for Israel. Right. So we were very fortunate there. Uh, we also were uh, in a church that, in churches, actually more than one, where people, or they were, t the pastors would teach us that uh, we needed a good foundation, and right. where do you find the foundation in the Old Testament, starting with Genesis? Yeah. And That's so yeah. we, we were very fortunate. It was a f a far easier for us than many people. However, to answer your qu question, no, I I just thought that's a little strange. It was interesting. Right. But strange. It took me a, a while longer to to really see the value in the feast. So when Scott was expanding on these things and starting to teach it here at the congregation, uh you know, did it was it resounding with your spirit as you were hearing what was being said? Did you feel like you were coming into a journey? <laughs> where you could easily embrace what the father was doing at first i thought actually we had even talked a little bit about uh is he is he not seeing the truth or is, is he, he trying to be jewish or something though yeah or, or is he <laughs> you know what's what's going on um but everything he said he backed up with scripture wow uh -huh. and so we we finally talked it over and said how can we deny it? Right. He's backing everything with scripture. Right. 
That is powerful. And it is true. When people see the truth, how can you deny the truth? That's right. When we see the truth, because the whole point of coming to Yeshua is coming to the place where we take on the truth. And it's, a, it's his truth that sets us free. Mm -hmm. Do you find liberty and freedom, true freedom, as you follow the feasts, you keep the Shabbat? Um, is, this a, is this a walk of freedom compared to before? Because you are an ordained minister. Well, it is uh, a joyous walk. We, uh -huh. we are truly free. We are truly at liberty. And it has been, a, since we've begun this, this walk, we have never felt so at peace and as close to the Lord as we do now. Wow. Um, and how, how many years would you say you've served the Lord? How long have you been following him? Oh, about 40 years. About 40 years. And now you're at a place where you have never felt more closer to him Thank than you. your entire life. That's right. This yeah. is so powerful because what you are both sharing here is that when we come back to the foundation of who he has called us to be and we take hold of of the the feasts the rhythms and the cycle that he has for us so that we have those appointments with him we are meeting with him and when we are fellowshipping with him in that way and not just in a it's we're just under grace we don't need to follow his commands his commands are love and when we follow them it Amen. brings forth freedom what would you say to people who are just finding out this information for the first time they didn't even they thought the torah was done away with what would you say to them well, f first of all, it, uh, you'd have to try to explain to them that the Torah was in, isn't done away with. But the best advice that I think you can give people is to study the Word. Amen. Don't, don't take my word for it. Study the Scriptures. Be a Berean and get into that Word and see what, see what God is telling you. Yeah. I can tell you all kinds of things, but listen, listen to what God is saying to you as you study the yeah. Scriptures. See, it's yeah. something that people miss so much. It says, go and test everything against the word. When you hear someone say something, can we go back and test it against the word to see if it's truth? Yeah. We want to encourage you to be seekers of truth, to seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Don't be afraid of the word, but embrace his word. It will radically change your entire world. I want to thank you for watching. Capture